Well, 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 welcome back everyone. Time to do another comparison this time around between the Samsung Galaxy Note 20, the newly released phone, against, you know, the older Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now, I'll be honest, both these phones are great. The Note 8 was a classic. This phone is amazing. We already know. The Note 20, on the other hand, has me in a bit of mixed emotions. I feel like it could have been better, but you know, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about throughout this video. And in some cases, the Galaxy Note 8 may actually be a better phone. Now, price-wise, the Note 20 is costing $1,000. It's brand new. It's probably going to go down in price in like three hours. The Samsung Galaxy Note 8 costs about you know a little bit less than $300 right now. And I'll leave both of these linked down in the description below on Amazon so you can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now starting off with the Galaxy Note 8's panel, it has a 6.3 inch Super AMOLED display and it's a 1440p panel. It's a really good looking panel still. I was messing with it today. I was just messing with the whole entire phone and it still feels like a very, very good phone. There's really nothing wrong with it in terms of the display. You know, it curves to the sides, which is really nice. I actually kind of like that. The Note 20's display is a completely flat display. So keep that in mind. It isn't like a curved display like the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Some people may prefer that. Some people might prefer, you know, the Note 8's. But the panel itself looks really good. You have a little bit of bezel on the bottom and a little bit of bezel up top. Now, it's it's a bigger bezel than what we're used to nowadays, especially compared to the Note 20 or the OnePlus 8s or something. But I'll be honest, it's really not that big of a deal. It gives your finger something to hold on to, you know what I mean? And I'm kind of used to it. I really don't care. Coming from somebody who's used a lot of phones, it's really not that big of a deal. I think this phone still is just so timeless in the way it looks and everything. So design-wise, I mean, I like the Note 8 and the panel itself looks really good too. Whereas on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20, we already know it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be a good looking display. At least the way it looks, you know, it has a 6.7 inch Super AMOLED Plus display. And, you know, it's a good panel. It's 1080p and that's pretty much all it's going for, man. Like it's a, you know, it's a good panel. It has a hole punch display, and I hit on it a lot yesterday. I hit on it the day before. I don't want to sound too crazy, but like I feel like Samsung could have done better. You know, the Note 8's panel is actually pretty good. It still holds the test of time. It's still pretty good, but the Note 20, it's the mixture of the back and the front when you're holding it. There's just something about it that doesn't really rub me the right way. So I definitely do think panel-wise, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 probably wins here. But the Note 20, you know, obviously it's still there. You know, it has a good looking display, the hole punch display, fingerprint sensor in the display as well. So you have to give some props to the actual panel itself for the Note 8. But the way it looks, I think the Note 20 probably ends up winning there. So I know that's kind of confusing, but that's probably the best way I can put it. They both have USB Type-C on the bottom. The Note 8 does have the S Pen, which is really cool, as well as a headphone jack, which is really, really awesome. And on the back, you can see dual camera setup on the Galaxy Note 8 and a triple camera setup on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. Now, you have the fingerprint sensor right here on the Note 8, which is a, the worst position ever. I don't know why they put it there, but they eventually moved it around, and now it's obviously on the front of the phones. Now, you have the glass back on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, which feels really good, and that's why the Galaxy Note 8 still feels like a premium phone. Whenever I use this thing, it feels like a very good phone. It doesn't feel like a cheap phone, whereas on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20, we have a different setup going on. It's a plastic back. I know they're trying to call it like half glass or whatever. I It feels like plastic to me. Like when I was messing with like a Galaxy, not, it doesn't feel as bad as a Galaxy S5. It's like a frosted plastic. Like that's the best way to put it. And it doesn't feel that great when I'm holding the Galaxy Note 8 on one hand and I'm feeling the Galaxy Note 20 on the other hand. I can tell it's not that great. You know what I mean? I can tell it's mostly probably plastic. I'm trying to think of a phone that kind of feels like this. The one that comes to mind, it's not even the guy. I can't even think of a phone that feels like this. Maybe like the back of like a Galaxy S4, if that was frosted, it kind of feels like that. It just doesn't feel like a good back, I'll be honest. And when you look at these two, I mean, you can obviously tell the Note 20 looks better, but the Note 8 actually feels more premium, which is weird. I don't understand why Samsung is trying to cut corners here. It doesn't make much sense. So in terms of the body itself, I would probably end up giving the edge to the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. I feel like the Note 8 feels more like a premium device. It feels more, you know, it can handle what I throw at it, and it just feels like a more expensive phone. The Note 20, though, you know, I have to give it some benefit of the doubt here and there. It looks better. This phone definitely looks better, but the Note 8 feels better. Another humongous advantage for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 is that it does have a micro SD card slot. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 does not have a micro SD card slot, which is crazy. I find that so insane how they're going to make that note line up and water it down. They did it last year too, and they did it again this year. They'll probably end up doing it the rest of their time. But in my opinion, the Note 8 is the more superior one when it comes down to the body. It has more features kind of, 
but the Note 20 obviously is the better one. It's a newer one that has a lot of, you know, has power, it has wireless charging, all that stuff. So you're probably getting more features here, but there's a lot of cool things with the Note 8 that I still miss. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. Now hitting on the software, the Note 20 wins here by, you know, landslide that you're already outdated on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. You can't necessarily like go and custom ROM it unless you have the Exynos version, I believe. And yeah, the Note 8 is pretty much outdated. It's not even getting software updates. It might be getting security updates here and there, but still you're pretty much outdated. Whereas on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20, you're just getting started with updates, which is a huge thing. Both are running One UI, which is not my favorite version of Android, but you do have that really cool capability of having those extra software updates for a very long time on the Note 20. We're getting an extra year of software, so we're getting three full versions of Android on here. So you can pick up this phone now, the Note 20, and be set for a while. Whereas if you pick up the Galaxy Note 8, you're going to be kind of missing out on a lot of different cool features that are going to be happening with these next versions of Android. So kind of keep that to yourself. <laughs> So kind of figure that out and, you know, kind of make a decision based off that. But in terms of software, the Note 20 definitely wins. Now hitting on the performance side of things, and I'll do a speed test. The Note 8 has that Snapdragon 835 chipset, an octa-core CPU, an Adreno 540 GPU, and 6 gigs of RAM on basically every model that it came out with. Where the Note 20 has that Snapdragon 865 Plus chipset, an octa-core CPU, an Adreno 650 GPU, and 8 gigs of RAM on the only model that it supported. So let's go and see which one is the fast one between these two. Okay, let me go and clear out all the apps in the background. And Samsung Pay has to be one of the most annoying things ever, why it has to be right there. Let's go and load the Play Store, three, two, one. And you can see the Note 20, definitely faster there. Scrolling through, let me go and scroll through down all the way to the bottom and see, you can see that the Note 20 did kind of get down on the bottom sooner. Camera, three, two, one. Okay, Note 20, definitely faster. And I'm so used to not having gestures now, which is so funny. Let me go and load up these third party apps. Let's do Dune, three, two, one. And definitely the animations are still faster on the Note 20 as expected. And that one was pretty close. I actually kind of looked away for a second. I'm not really too sure which one was faster there. Snake versus Blocks, 3, 2, 1. As you can see, the Note 20 was faster, followed by the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. And it's going through. I mean, they're going to look about the same. It's a pretty basic game. Stack, 3, 2, 1. Okay, looks like the Note 20, I think, would have been faster. We kind of got stuck there a little bit, and the volume just really threw me off. We can do Temple Run 3, 2, 1. This is the original one. Hopefully, I don't have to restart any game on here. And I do have to restart it on the Note 20, so let's go ahead and redo this one. Temple Run again, 3, 2, 1. And as you can see, I think maybe the Note 20 was faster, but that one was very, very close. I'll let you guys kind of be the judge there. Let me go and turn off the volume here because it's mad annoying. Okay, or well, whatever. I'll just let that one slide. We can do stack. Three, two, one. And yeah, Note 20 definitely just was able to load that up super fast to get into the game. And surprisingly, the Note 8 is performing pretty well. I was surprised, you know. I thought it was going to be super slow. It's not really the case. It does a pretty good job at it. Fruit Ninja, three, two, one. And still the animations, like I said before, are noticeably faster on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. And the Note 8 eventually got into it, but definitely the Note 20 Ultra, or the Note 20, sorry, did a really good job in terms of the performance right here. Crossy Road, three, two, one. And just a couple different pop-ups here. Let's go ahead and try to get both at the same time. Three, two, one. Okay, I screwed this one up. Okay, we'll just not do that one. Facebook, three, two, one. Okay, some different pops of some both. We you know and ended off with Road Racing 3. 3, 2, 1. Now this is a pretty big game as I'm sure you guys all know. And the Note 20 was able to get into it faster. The Note 8 taking its time, you know, but eventually got into it too. So, I mean, in terms of performance, I definitely would say that the Note 20 is probably the better one. Let's go ahead and get into some RAM management real quick. We go back into the beginning. So we play store. Okay, both were able to keep that in the background. Going back in the beginning again. Let's forget the camera. Let's do Dune. And both were able to keep that in the background as well, which is good. Going back in the beginning with, do snake versus blocks. Okay, both of them were able to keep that in the background as well. Let's go back in the beginning again. Temple run. Okay, both are doing good. Let's do one more. Do stack. And yeah, both are doing pretty good, but I think ultimately the Note 20 would probably be the better performing phone between both of these for sure. So in terms of performance, that pretty much covers it up. 
Now let's go ahead and hit on the cameras. Like I said before, Note 20 has a triple camera setup. Note 20 has a dual camera setup. And on the Note 20, you have a 12 megapixel wide angle lens and then a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. Or on the Note 20, you have a 12 megapixel wide, 64 megapixel telephoto, and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Now in terms of the camera, the photos on the Note 8, like I've stated a billion times before, are going to look good. You're not going to feel like you have an outdated camera for the most part. The only downside is, is that you may start to feel like, you know, you wish you had an ultra wide sensor. You can do 4K at 30 on here, but you cannot do 4K at 60, which is another reason why, why some people may not prefer this phone. But I think it's a good looking phone. I think you can take some really decent photos at it. You don't really have, you have some good features and everything, but you don't have any crazy ones like you do on even like a Galaxy Note 9. I feel like the Note 9 did a really good job with the more recent updates and the camera UI. And for some reason, this one crashes, you guys saw. But you have some features here too. Obviously, there's a ton built in right here. And you can kind of look through but definitely when it comes down to it i think the note 20 is the winner by far not only do the photos and videos look really good i don't know why it's glitching right there i don't know what the heck that is but you also have the ability of shooting 8k video on this thing as well you can do 4k at 60 that's a given but you can do 8k video on the galaxy note 20 which is a humongous asset like i stated before it's a really good camera it takes really good photos you have that ultra wide sensor as well which is really awesome and you have a ton of features built into the camera too so obviously i can go here and show you guys all these different features as you guys probably don't care about. But under more in the camera setup, you can see you have a ton of different settings here too that the Note 8 kind of has built in, I'm sure, but the Note 20 definitely has more options built in. So for sure, at the end of the day, the camera on the Note 20 is way better than the one on the Note 8. Now ending it off with the battery life, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 on release had a 3,300 million power battery, while the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 has a 4,300 million power battery. And definitely between these two, the Note 20 will have the better battery life for sure. You're going to be getting better battery life, not only because of just the battery life bigger, but you also have a more optimized chipset, and you also have a lower resolution display, which kind of works in its favor, even though it's kind of a bad feature. So that ends up saving a little bit of battery life too. The Note 8 had okay battery life, but it was really never that great. The Note 9 had a really good battery life in my opinion, but the Note 20 for sure will definitely beat the Note 8. So to kind of sum up this video and to answer the comparison, which phone should you pick up? Obviously the Note 20 is the best way to go. It has more features overall. The Note 8 is just a better built phone and it has a better screen, but the Note 20 ultimately is the better phone in every single other way. Now, if you don't want to spend all the money on the Note 20, you don't want to spend $1,000 on it, you can easily get a Note 10, even a Note 9. You can get a Note 9 for less than 400 but I would way recommend a Note 10. That thing is pretty much almost a brand new phone, and you're getting an extra year of software updates on that one as well. So I would highly recommend picking up a Note 10 or a Note 10 Plus, which will be far cheaper than a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 right now. So that's really pretty much it. All those will be linked down below. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.